Hello everybody, here's an update on my Dutch bucket uh, tomatoes and I'm also going to do a little review of how I've been doing with some of my crack tea and uh, how I've picked some of the suckers uh, off the tomatoes and grown new plants and how they're doing. I'm also trying a long tube system of crack tea and I also have some in a bucket that are growing like wildfires too. So let me go ahead and show you how my plants are doing. You can see there's lots of flowers. I've uh, just been uh, shaking a little bit. See if we get some germination. And so it's like a little forest in here. Seems to be going pretty well. Have a few tomatoes. See. Now I want to show you that these are the ones that were suckers right here. So you can a little bit they on them. You grow them in long tubes. Basically the nutrients in the water have a little bit of a volcanic stone on top. I'm just going to show you some of the root system and how they grow. They seem to be growing better the, the suckers in the long tubes than the ones I transferred. If you look real close, you can see the bottom of the root system is where it absorbs most of the water and the nutrients. Then you see the cilia, the hair-like ones at the top. It's mostly for the consume the oxygen. And I think that just putting in here, it's almost like they learn when you put them right in the way they want to grow. Because the ones I took out of the Dutch bucket and then transferred into tubes, they don't seem to be working as well. Here's another one. I'll show you the roots of how these uh, suckers, these transfer suckers. You can see how beautiful the, the roots are right there for the oxygen. And as I move up further, then you start seeing where the nutrients were and how, the, how different they were. And here's the ones that I transferred to the tubes. And I have to keep adding water to these because they originally they were put into a regular crack key bucket. And you see that the the roots don't look as good, and then they're starting to grow new roots at the bottom. I'm trying to grasp. I probably end up transferring these back into a crab key uh, bucket instead of the tubes. And I still want to keep the tubes going for the suckers, and maybe take some more suckers and put them in these tubes and see how they do. Because they seem to learn right from the beginning, and once they, they go that method, if they go long, they go long. If they go wide, then they go wide. And I'll show you what the ones that looked like when they were raised in the, the full bucket style. As you see right here, these are the ones that are in the bucket. Of course, you can see that I'm going to need to transplant because they're all falling over. I'm just going to show you the, the root system on these. You can see the roots rather large and they're intertwined so I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that and salvage them. I have to put them in individual buckets. But as you can see the size of these plants are very big. And I'm probably gonna be doing a lot more than just the crack key method, but individual buckets. Maybe plant them in the ground so they stay cool. Because the Dutch bucket system that includes the pump and pumping the nutrients around in my other system here. It involves the pump and of course putting all the apparatus together. I'll just kind of show you some of the things I did. I just had some extra insulation so I put some insulation over it and I had to just cut out little pieces because there was a small gap in here just to stop some of the evaporation and I put it in. Inside these buckets, if they were if I slept them white, they get all uh, uh, they would have nothing but algae inside. 
So what I did is I took a, a roll of picnic tabletop for outside, and I put it inside before I put in my netting and put in my uh, uh, perlite into my buckets. And so you see how the, the look inside, just the perlite on top, and just drains it out. It's like many of the growers are doing right now. Right now the plants are using a lot of water. I need to pour anywhere from uh, four to eight gallons nutri nutrients and water into my into my system every day. Right now it's okay, but you can see. Uh, as for testing, I've taste tested the pH, and the pH has stayed pretty constant, right around six, where I wanted it. And of course, one of the latest things I'm kind of happy about putting the and the outlet put it to the wall, nice GFCI system. And that's about where I'm at. And that's the update on my Dutch bucket system. I think I'm going to have a lot of tomatoes. This is probably going to grow up. I'm going to continue to grow up and go out and over. If it gets too hot here because it's, uh, it's pretty warm in here, in the beginning of May, 2016, you can still see that it's uh, in the 90s because it's uh, maybe 4 degrees inside here. It's quite warm for 12 o'clock. I have my two fans. That's my intake and uh, just my exhaust. But also I put up some netting too to help cut down on some of the uh, UV rays coming in to help cool it a little bit. I just wait till uh, uh, see if I see starting to see more wolf on my plants. Well, that's about it for now. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments or any suggestions, please leave them below so that I can see anything else that might help my grow operation here. And uh, hopefully, next time I make a video, I'll have my uh, hoop house. It's a little bit of a plants inside. I just got through putting my roll-ups on for my skirts because it gets awful hot here in Riverside, California. So I want to make sure that it stays cool and I'm hopefully I'm, today I'm getting the right uh, watt system to run my solar uh, fan at the end there and I'll start putting some crack key system in. And I like crack key the best just to put the nutrients and put it on a float float the either the tomatoes or whatever else I'm gonna grow and go from there. Thanks for watching my video.